Welcome back to our Beatrice YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful, elegant layered statement sleeve. It's a very lovely sleeve and I made this with Ankara fabric and satin fabric. It's very simple to make and it's really, really beautiful. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. To make this layered sleeve, you need a basic sleeve like this. So I've drafted my basic sleeve already and this is what I have. If you don't know how to do this, you can check out a tutorial on my channel. I have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve. So for the layered part of the sleeve, I'll be using this gold satin fabric, okay? So I'll be making four different layers. And it's going to be cut in form of a perfect square. So a square is the one that is going to have the same measurement on all sides. So for the first one, I'll be working with a measurement of 13 inches. As you can see, so I have 13 inches here, 13 inches here, 13 inches here too, and 13 inches here. That is good. So the next one is going to be short by 2 inches. So 13 minus 2 is going to give me 11 inches. So I'm going to be having 11 inches on all sides. The next one is also going to be short by 2 inches. So 13 minus 2 is going to give me 9 inches. 11 minus 2 is going to give me 9 inches. So I'm going to be having 9 inches on all sides like that. And the last one also will be short by 2 inches and 9 minus 2 is going to give me 7 inches. So the last one is going to be 7 inches all through. So those are my four square and I cut two of each for each side. And that is for just one sleeve, okay? So now our layered part is also ready. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to arrange this on my sleeve. And to do that, I'm going to put the layer on fold in form of a cone in form of a triangle and what do i mean remember it's like this you arrange it well and then you put it on fold like you're folding a triangle like this okay so this is the first one and that is how i'm going to be putting everything on fold like that so to know where to place it from my apex point on my sleeve here i'm going to measure like one inch or one and a half inches downwards okay so I'm doing one and a half inch so that I'll have allowance to sew it to my dress or blouse. So now I'm measuring one and a half inches downward and that is where I will start placing this. So I'm placing the first one here like this. So the second one which is the nine inches I also put it on fold in form of a triangle and then I'm going to be placing it on the first one like that. So the next one, I'm going to be doing the same thing and then I'm going to be placing it on it also like this and then I'll do the same thing for the last one also. I hope we are getting this arrangement, it's quite simple. So when you are placing them, make sure that they align on both sides. Okay. You can hold it with the pin if the fabric you are working with is shifting. I can still do this without the pin. Okay. So I'm placing the next one on it and I'm making sure that the two sides are aligned. Like I don't have so much on one side compared to the other side. That is what I mean by the alignment. Okay. So I have this now. And then the next one. I'll arrange it well also and then I'm going to be placing the last one on it so after arranging it from the lower part of the sleeve I'm going to be measuring like 2 inches on the shortest part okay. remember the shortest part is the one with the 7 inches which is the one I'm just placing now so on this part now I'll take my tape through I measure like two to three inches upward. Okay, let's say I'm measuring three inches upward. Three inches upward from the shortest one. You can see this is the shortest one, the six inches, the seven inches, sorry. So I'm measuring three inches upward and I have the three inches here. So I'm going to be marking it and then I'm going to be placing a notch on all of them there so that it can guide me. 
so I'm going to notch it you can either use a you can either use a chalk to notice it or you can just not it, not it with your scissors a bit so I'm notching it there since I'll still be slashing this side open it doesn't really have any effect on it so I'm placing a notch there and also it's just a small notch just to indicate you can also mark it with a chalk so after placing that I'll also place the notch on the main sleeve also so after notching it I can remove this because now I know where I'm cutting so the next thing I'm going to do now is to slash this leaf open I'm going to slash it into two equal halves and then I'm going to set this aside and then I'll start working on this also so for this also after putting it on food in a triangular form like this I'm going to slash it open also let me use the big one so that it will be easy for us to see it's the same thing i'm going to be doing to the odd all other ones too so i'm going to be putting it on food in form of a triangle like this and then i'm going to slash this side open this folded point i'm going to slash it open After slashing it open my notch point is not showing like before so now I'm going to take it together again and then re-notch it okay so now I've slashed it open and this is my notch this is my notch I hope you can see it so this triangular side here now is what I'm going to remember this is the side that I slashed open okay so now this is two for each of the sleeve like this this is for one part of the sleeve this is for the other part so now this part here is what i'm going to take to the machine now and close so i will sew here and here and i'll also sew here and here and bring it back to show us okay so i'm gonna have to sew it now you can see i've closed this side and this last part is the only open part now so now remember this is the first one this is the second one remember we have a notch around here i hope you can see the notch so now to join the two together i'm simply going to sew it together up to the notch point before i completely turn it out this is what i'm saying remember this is the first one this is the second one so i have a notch here i'm going to match the notch together like this yeah and then i'm going to sew it in a way that the 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 main fabric will not be showing let me just turn it out so that we will see what i'm trying to achieve okay once i turn it out this is what i have for the first one and this is what i have for the second one okay so now these are my notches so i'm going to sew it in a way that the the seam the sewn part that's the rough edges will be folded in between like this so that it's not going to be showing on the main fabric so to do this i'm just going to place this like this i can place them on each other like this and then i'm going to match the notched part so now i can pin it so i'm pinning it now I'm starting the pinning from the notched part because that's where the sewing is going to stop. So let me just close it down so that I can see. I've pinned the first part here like this. So the next thing is to pin the second part. So now I'm just going to look for the notches also and then match it together and then continue my pinning. So now basically you can see how I'm doing it. It's very simple. So now this is the second part now. And I'm going to be pinning it also up to the notched part here. Then I'll take it to the sewing machine and sew. And I'm going to be doing this to the remaining three. Same thing. Then after that, I'm going to I'm going to take it to the ironing table and give it a good press. So you can see how I just pinned it. This is the first part and this is the second part. So I'll take it to the machine now and sew up to the notched part. So I've gone ahead to sew it now up to the notched point on both sides. So you can actually notch it to make it relax well. And then you turn it out. 
so when you turn it out this is what you have you can see that the two now they are together and then you take it to and it, the sewing is up to the notched part here so now i'll take it to the sewing machine uh, to the ironing table now and give it a good press so that it can relax well so everything that i've done to this now i'll do to the other ones also and then i'm going to bring it back to show us so i've gone ahead to do the same thing for the smaller ones also and after that i give it a good press you can see how flat it is lying so this is the biggest the next one is the small so it's to be easy for you the next the only thing you just need to do is to match it to where you stopped sewing that's where your notch is so you keep placing it like that then the next one also you place it where the sewing stopped that's where your notched point is and then you match them and this is going to be the last one okay so these are the layers that we have remember it's a layered sleeve okay so these are the layers that we have now i'm going to set this aside now and work on the main sleeve remember on the upper part here i went up by one and a half inches so i'll take it to the same machine now and then sew the one and a half inches downwards here and also where i notched here also remember when i placed this i notched up to somewhere here so i'm going to sew it from the notch part downwards and also from here to the one and a half inches before i place my layers on it okay so now i've been taking it and i've sewn it here and here so i have this opening like this so the next thing i'm going to do now is to sew the layers together so remember the way i arranged this i'm just going to take it together on this open part now and match it and then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and just sew it straight the aim is just to hold the four together so i'm going to hold it together like this and then sew it straight and then do the same on the other side before i attach it to my main sleeve okay so i've gone ahead to sew it so like i said the aim of the sewing is just to stitch the four layers together so i use the contrasting thread so that we can see it well so i just stitched it straight like this i hope we see what i'm seeing so now the next thing is to bring in my big six sleeve remember it's going to be like this on the basic sleeve and it's going to occupy the space that is opened like this so this is how it is going to be on the sleeve so now the next thing is for me to make sure that the sewing is turned inwards like this and to do that i'm just going to flip this now and then i'm going to make sure that i sew it from here like this okay so from this place that is opened here i'm going to match it downwards and then sew so i can just hold it with a pin first so that i can show us what it will look like so after sewing it by the time i flip it over i will have something neat on the other side Okay, so after pinning it like this, I'm just going to sew it straight like this. You can see the way I pinned it. So by the time I sew it and I flip it over, you will see that this side will be neat. You can see what I have here. It's going to be neatly finished and I can give it a good press. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side also. I'll flip it, match it like this, sew it and then flip it over. Then I'll bring it back to show us what we have okay okay so i've gone ahead to sew it you can see i've sewn it here and also here okay so you can just search this even before sewing you can search it because a bit of it will be showing here so that it will be neatly finished so i want to sew it here also and then i give you should give it a notch i'm going to give this a notch and then i'll take it to the ironing table and give it a good press so that it can lie really flat for me so after that i can just brace this with a stitch so i'm just going to follow the line 
the stitch line that I have around here so that this place will be neatly closed and also I'll find my way around this place also I'm going to be stitching it up here also so that it can also be neat if you need to trim off some of the excess allowance seam allowance that you have here you should so that you have something really neat and by the time you are done this is what your sleeve is going to look like so these are the layers one two three four and you can see that they are neatly finished and this is the one on this side also so now the next thing is just for us to take it together and pop this in close it here on the side seam allowance excuse me then I'm going to give it a good press so that it can lie flat because everything is still puffy here. I'm going to notch it and give it a good press. Then I'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what we have. Okay, so this is what our sleeve is looking like. You can see how beautiful this is looking. So these are the layered parts of the sleeve. This is the first, the second, third and the fourth layer. And this is the other side of the sleeve also with the layers so you can see how simple it is to make this and how elegant the sleeve is looking i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this kindly leave us a comment in the comment section like subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one bye